The components are all in, so let's go ahead and build one of these things. First, let's take a look at what all the parts are. We've got our piezo, we've got our tactile switch, there's our little circuit board, there's our LED, there's our capacitor, there's our resistor, there's our little BBs, and the idea is you can change the amount of BBs that you put in this little tube, and when you shake it, it'll change how much of an impact you get on the piezo, which changes how much energy gets generated per shake. So you shake it up, you press a little button, the LED lights up. You can sort of develop an intuition for like how much energy it takes to get a little pulse of light. Here's your resistor. That's an 0603. We pick it up with tweezers and we put it on the board. If you can solder this board, you'd be proficient at like anything that you would do in your own R&D lab. Anything smaller than that, you can always just send it out. Good news is these four diodes on the full wave rectifier are already soldered on the board for you. This is a tantalum capacitor, so you've got to make sure that that little line lines up with that dot right there. Let's get the switch on there. Now for the piezo, same thing. We're going to tack one side to get that pad wetted. I'm going to show you a little trick for the LED. So if you look in there in the clear stuff, you'll see like a big area of metal. That's typically, not always, but usually that's the ground. One thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the switch and the LED line up with their holes first. Now let's take this little board and shove it in here. It's going to be a little bit snug, okay? Push it until it bottoms out, then you should be good to go. One, two, three, four, five. Put them in there, get them down the little hole, and then screw them together. All right, let's try this out in a little bit of a low light area, okay? Shake, 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 press. Let's hold down the button and shake. So what do you think? Is this thing worthwhile as like a little STEM learning kit for piezo concepts? Um, if so, we'll kit it up and put it on Etsy. If not, uh, if it's a complete waste of time, I'll just keep it on my desk and I'll play with it. All right, thanks so much for watching. Adios.